video, we will learn how to predict the products of an acetyl hydrolysis reaction. First of all, what is an acetyl? Acetyl is a functional group on the molecule, and in order to recognize it, we have to identify a carbon that is connected to two OR groups. So if we look at the molecule and we see a carbon that's connected to two OR groups, that's an acetyl carbon and our molecule has an acetyl. Now R, um, as I said in my previous videos, is a hydrocarbon chain. So these R groups could be uh, CH3, CH2, CH3, any, any kinds of uh, hydrocarbon chains could be the R groups. Let's go ahead and look at this molecule and see does it have an acetyl carbon? So if you look here, we will notice this carbon and this carbon is attached to two oxygens and each oxygen is attached to some carbons. So this carbon is an acetyl carbon because it's attached to two OR group here and here. And so we are dealing with an acetyl molecule. Now, for hydrolysis, the reagent for hydrolysis is water with some kind of acid. You could also use H3O+, plus, depending on what your professor tells you. But I'm going to teach you an easy and simple trick of how to figure out what the products are of acetyl hydrolysis or if the problem gives you an acetyl and it's asking for what reactants created this acetyl, how to go back. So here I wrote out the steps and we will go step by step to figure out how to predict the acetyl hydrolysis product or in other words, how to predict where this acetyl came from. So first we have to identify the acetyl carbon, which is a carbon connected to two OR groups. We have already done that this carbon is connected to two OR groups. So this is an acetyl carbon. Next, we have to break the bonds between carbon and the two oxygens it is attached to. So we go ahead and we basically break this bond and break this bond. And let's write what we, base, what we get once we um, break the bonds. Let's still dot our carbon to not forget where it came from. And right now, this is what I have. So I just basically broke off the carbon. I broke these bonds that, that were holding the carbon together with, an, with the two oxygens and I separated them. Step number three, add double bond O to the acetyl carbon. So this is my acetyl carbon. I'm going to go ahead and add double bond O to it. And the last step is add hydrogens to the oxygens broken off. So these oxygens were broken off. I don't really have much space, but they will have hydrogens. And these two are the products of my acetyl hydrolysis. Or if your professor asks you, where did this acetyl come from? What were the reactants to create this acetyl? It's these two. It's this ketone and this, um, and this alcohol group. Now let's go ahead and use the step-by-step -step mechanism, not mechanism, but a step-by-step -step trick, I should say, uh, to do another problem so we can get some more practice. Here it says, acid catalyzed hydrolysis of the cyclic acetyl below gives what? So first, we, they told us that this is an acetyl. Now we have to look for an acetyl carbon. Which carbon is connected to two OR groups? So if we look, we take a look at this carbon, it's connected to O with a carbon and O with a carbon. So this carbon is the acetyl carbon. Now let's go ahead and follow my steps. Identify acetyl carbon, done. Break the bonds between carbon and the two oxygens it is attached to. Break and break. And so what I'm going to get is this molecule. This is my acetyl carbon. I'm just dotting it to know where it is, otherwise I will be very confused. And this molecule broke off. These bonds are no longer there. Now add double bond O to the acetyl carbon. So I'm going to go ahead and attach double bond O here. And then add hydrogens to the oxygens broken off. So I'm going to add hydrogen here and hydrogen here. 
and these must be my two products after the acid catalyzed hydrolysis which is water but some sort of acid um, these are the two products the ketone in this case and the alcohol okay now we just have to name it let's go ahead and name this uh, this molecule that has two OH groups an OH group is called uh, alcohol so uh, the name must end in all and because there are two OH groups it will be diol and there are two carbons two carbons have a prefix of eth so this should be one two ethane diol because if we number it one two we have OH and carbon one and OH and carbon two and um, there are two OHs, so we have to use the word diol. So we can get rid of C and A. We have ethane diol for both of them, one, two ethane diol. Now let's go ahead and see what this uh, molecule is. This is a ketone. A ketone is when we have a double bond O in between two carbons, like here. And a ketone must have an ending O and E. Ketone ketone and an own okay so now in choice b we have hexanol which which implies that this is an alcohol but it is not it, mu it must end in own ketone we will number it like this one two three four five six so this is cyclo because we have a ring hex because we have six carbons hexanone own because it's a ketone and chlorine is on the second carbon, so it's 2 chlorocyclohexanone, making choice D the correct choice. Again, anytime you are given an acid cell and you are asked to go back to predict what reactants created this acid cell, or you asked to use acid hydrolysis to figure out the products of the acid hydrolysis, all you have to do is to follow these uh, simple steps. Uh, this is without a mechanism. This is just to predict the products. And I hope that uh, you, will, you will find these steps helpful and they will help you to figure out the products you're looking for. This is Maya from Transformation Tutoring. If you like this video, please subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in more of my organic chemistry and general chemistry videos.